long soccer career and now a beautiful actress. So, so, so yeah. can you tell us the secret sauce? What's the, is oh it the gosh. legs that's this, yeah. that makes this show such a success? The legs, oh my gosh. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt that they're pretty easy to look at, all of them, I would say. And they're particularly good to look at when they're together. So... I don't know, it's really resonated with fans. I think it just doesn't take itself too, too seriously. But at the same time, you know, it's unabashedly sexy. Very good looking, beautiful people. Um, but we try to treat the relationships as real as we can, even though the world is so exaggerated, you know? And I was, I was talking to the Teen Wolf people yesterday right, right. about what is it with the third season of Atlas? Where the yeah. first season, everyone kind of was down to earth. Right, 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 like, right. Like someone you would right. know. But by the third season, all of a sudden, everyone is like, It's hotness. Mad. I don't know, man. It's the confidence. Yeah. 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 And I think every season, you yeah. just kind of elevate yourselves, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, when you look back, it's just everybody has evolved. And as people, they've all evolved and they've all grown up. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's just sharper. Yeah. There's every a, year there's, gets. There's definitely a confidence, though, too. Like, I always yeah. remember when Anna Silk walked into the prison episode in 301. And I was like, Damn, girl, she looks good. Like, yeah. she just carried herself differently. She was like, I am both. You know, my it was awesome. So I do think there's something that you feel like, okay, the show is working, it's resonating, and I just think it shows on their beautiful, beautiful faces. So plus to make a bunch of those up, maybe. <laughs> what do we have in store for uh, season four? Craziness, sexiness, funness, jokes. More Duran Duran now. I don't know. Yeah, more Duran Duran. Duran Duran. You can't go wrong with more Duran You can't go wrong with it, right? Um, I think it's going to be really fun. Like, third season, we really tried some stuff out. I feel like we were kind of ambitious and pushed the agenda, and I think the fans did embrace it. You know, they really got it. So, the sweet spot of season four is everybody's bought into the characters, the concept, the world, the relationships. Um, but one thing I think we'd like to expand on is the Fey world, the mythology. You know, if you have people who have lived for 2,000 years, the past come calling, you know, God, I've, I've lived for 16 years, and I have lots of mistakes in my past. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, just the idea of what is this all coming to, you know? Bo's been sort of hinted at to be her destiny is larger than herself, but what does that actually mean, you know? And as always, on our show, it comes down to choices, you know what I mean? Can you choose who you want to be versus who they tell you you're supposed to be? And just like more down to earth style, you know, we kind of broke up the team last year, so I think Bo's got to put her happy little family back together. That's going to be challenging. So. So, so what do you say is the main theme of this show? Um, well, I think it's in this season? of the show in general. Of the show in general and the fourth season. I think it is I will choose the life. What does she say? In the, I can't even, I didn't write it. There you go. She says, I will live the life I choose, right? I think that's the theme that really resonates with people is that like, we don't judge, we don't put labels on. You can choose your own happiness and who you want to be. And also there's always a chance to make a mess, you know? I mean, there's always a chance to, sure, you went on a 10-year killing spree, killing everyone you slept with, but, you know, can you ever be good enough? Can you fix that? Can you find your place in the world on your own terms? I think that's kind of the theme of the show, so, less sexiness. What was the show for the genesis of the story? How did you start it out? Well, Jay Firestone, the exec producer, um, he sort of created that with uh, the idea, I think, started as something like quite different uh, many years ago, back when I mean, I think we shot the pilot. I think it was five years ago, six years ago. Six years ago. Um, so he kind of came up with this concept um, that, uh, you know, really evolved to what it was originally going to be. Uh, it was, uh, you know, sold to showcase the network and they really got on board. And, um, then I think uh, I think it really evolved once Anna Silk was cast. It kind of became, uh, you know, she she was, um, you know, once she was cast. I think the show kind of took a bit of a different. Yeah, yeah. It was sort of like it, it evolved with her, and yeah, and then all the characters, you know, as as they were cast. I mean somebody like Zoe was uh, brought in and her character I don't think was going to be as central of a role but uh, you know uh, she was so amazing at that part and yeah. Lauren and Bo's relationship was so amazing that um, that grew um, and you know Chris Old Creed obviously um, was quite amazing uh, and yeah so I think it just it, it really began to evolve with the actors that were chosen and um, 
Yeah, I mean, Jay brought on an amazing writing team, uh, Michelle Labretta, Emily Anders was involved in the beginning, Jeremy Boxen, um, who else was on our first Keep on. Keep on, yeah. Um, it's just like, it's, it's funny, you know, the, the main idea was just like sexy super heroin, you know what I mean? But then when you find Anna Silk, you realize like part of her charm is she really has, such, she's such a human girl, and she's so beautiful, and you want to be friends with her, she's got that Julia Roberts style, you know, I think like men think she's gorgeous, but I also want to go have popcorn with her. Um, <laughs> so because of her vulnerability and her warmth, I feel like the character became something really unique, and that was really what made the show fun to write for was. It was this girl with basically superpowers, but who was also just trying to find her way, you know, had never really had a normal romantic relationship because of the old killing factor. Um, so 